Now, uh, before we get started, I do have to ask if everyone does remain seated through the whole show, but you cannot have anybody up against the glass, okay? And I work with every other seat here. Each one of these guys does one or two shows a day, so they can all take turns and get stressed or anything like that. Now, the largest one that we have in here is our big old huge guy in the water back here. He's the biggest one at 10 feet and like 400 pounds. Now, unfortunately, I am not going to show that one, though, because he's like 10 feet and like 400 pounds. <laughs> Can't really make do very much, but I do want to show you him. Okay, so let's come over here and uh, we're gonna check him out really quick. So he's in the water right here, guys. I'm gonna lift his head up for a section so you'll be able to see him. Okay, so watch right here for me. Come here, buddy. That's our big guy right there. Now, as you can see, he is famous for his blinding speed and aggression. He's a big old sweetheart. He's really not that bad. He's just so big, I can't physically make him do anything. And try not to look so visibly disappointed, I did not just die. <laughs> and why are they all attacking me? We'll go in a couple of minutes. Be patient. And I also know people are like, oh my god, you're not wearing any shoes. If you think that right now, tell me, what do you think a pair of shoes are going to do against that thing? <laughs> Nothing. If he goes to bite your foot, he's not going to pluck one toe at a time. And he grabs your foot with your shoe, snaps it right off your leg, and swallows your foot whole. The shoe's still on it. He don't care about the shoes. <laughs> now, being that he's so big, a lot of people ask, well, how old is he, or how old is this one, or that one? Truth is, I have no idea. There's actually no one until the age of one just basically looking. There's no external characteristics, size or measurement won't tell you. That's why we just simply cut him in half and count the rings. <laughs> It's a live show full of bad jokes. Buckle up, it's gonna get worse. <laughs> now really though, there is no way to tell their age. Their size does depend upon diet, environmental factors, not how old they are. He could be 25 or 75. You would have no idea by looking. And some records in captivity claim that alligators over 100 years old, so they're very long lived. Now in here, I mainly feed these guys raw chicken, other kinds of meat, but in the wild, they're opportunistic hunters. I like to eat things like raccoons, turtles, fish, birds, and of course, favorite, tourists. Yeah. <laughs> Which I'm kidding, of course. Attacks on people are actually incredibly rare. We have over a million alligators in the state of Florida. They really actually want to eat people. You know, people dying every single day in Florida. Instead, we get more people killed by vending machines than by alligators. That's actually real, not a bad joke. More people get mad they can't get a candy bar. They shake the vending machine. It falls down and crushes the guy. More often, people get killed by alligators. If you don't believe me, you can Google it. The total number of gator fatalities in Florida State history is under 30, and the total number of people crushed by vending machines across the U.S. is 37. <laughs> yeah. it says everything you need to know about alligator aggressiveness and human intelligence. <laughs> now for your show, uh, we're going to go ahead and grab one of these guys out of the water for you all to be able to see. So let's go ahead and uh, hop back in here. Now, uh, anybody else want to come in? The water's nice. <laughs> yeah, it's cool, refreshing. I see some of you guys shaking your head like you wouldn't want to be in here. I know why. You're looking at the water, you see the yellow color, you're like, oh, gross, it's yellow, it's gator pee. I'm telling you right now, it's not gator pee. It's Gatorade. <laughs> It's the best joke in the whole show right there, guys. But no, we actually drain and clean this up every day. We empty all the water, spray, scrub, refill, clean water. But the water that we use comes out of a well right here in the ground. It has a high iron content. It has a yellow color to it. Naturally, just like the water they live in out there has the same yellow color. So it is actually clean. But uh, anyways, let's go ahead and uh, get one of these fellas out of here. They all look so excited. So let's go ahead and get this one right here. Everybody, you're the closest. All uh, right, now usually I carry on now, like that's bigger than I am. People clap. Cheers, anybody out there, guys? Yeah, it's a live show, I like that live audience. Now, this guy here is about 200 pounds, so if you're in a picture, do me a favor. Hurry up. <laughs> Now we're gonna set them down right here in the sand and let's grab a hold of these jaws nice and carefully. All right, so take a look at those teeth, guys. Hey, easy, buddy. Yeah, he uh, yeah, he might get a little feisty here for a second, but he'll calm down after uh, he tries to bite me a few times. Easy, buddy. There we go. Y'all look surprised he's trying to bite. But what, what do you think he's gonna do? Blow a kiss? <laughs> Yeah, look, I know when uh, oof, I know when they don't all immediately chase me, everybody thinks they're tame. They're not tame, they're lazy, there's a difference. <laughs> they're not gonna come running after you, but if your hand slips and he does that, yes, he will rip off your hand and eat it in front of you. Now, if you guys look inside of his mouth, there are 80 teeth. They can break the teeth off and grow them back, and they'll cycle through several thousand teeth in a lifetime. That comes in handy because of how hard they bite. A large gator can bite down with an entire ton of force in the mouth, 2,000 pounds per square inch power. 
Now, y'all don't look impressed with that number. Think about it, 2,000 pounds, like the weight of a small car exerted inside of his mouth. That's enough power to snap any bone in your weak, fragile, and frankly pathetic human body and crush your skull like a potato chip. If you are not impressed by that, it is because y'all are on the wrong side of the glass. <laughs> Now, even though he can bite down with all that power to close his mouth, you can hold the jaws shut with your bare hands. The power they have is for closing. They have very little for opening. So if you're ever about to be attacked by one, remember, you don't have to run away. Simply turn around. Grab those jaws. You'll be great. <laughs> Kidding, guys. You run for your life. Come on. <laughs> Now, speaking of the jaw power, take a look at his neck right here. So he's got like kind of chubby cheeks, and he's got a fat neck. But that's not fat around the neck. That's his jaw muscle, both sides right there. Like, give you the strongest guy out there, you make a bicep, you got a couple pounds on your arm if you're lucky. This guy's got a decent 20. A big eater can have over 50 pounds of muscle just for closing the jaws. That's how he grabs your arm. I don't care how strong you think you are, it's going to snap your arm. Now, we have all these alligators in here for a reason, though. We're actually an alligator rescue, and these are all considered to be nuisance gators. Now, a nuisance gator is one that shows up in a backyard, swimming pool, he ate fluffy, stuff like that. <laughs> now, once he's somebody's dog, they send out a trapper to capture and kill the alligator. Unless the dog he ate was a Pomeranian, don't let him go, because no one cares. <laughs> That's the best joke in the show. <laughs> but, uh, but, but no, unfortunately, seriously though, the state of Florida does kill several thousand of these nuisance alligators a year, which is really sad. We don't have a nuisance gator problem, we have a nuisance person problem. And by that, I mean, usually it's people feeding them. Once you feed them, they learn to associate you with food, you don't have the food, and then you are the food. That's why it's against a lot of feeding. Now what we do in here, we do our shows with these nuisance gators, instead of him, they turn into a suitcase or a pair of boots, which you appreciate that, right, big guy? Yes. That's why we're considered an alligator rescue, because every gator in here would have sadly been destroyed if they were not here with us. Now, we're also very fortunate we work with one of the only committed non-kill gator trappers around. I work under him and rescue these guys out of people's backyards myself. I actually caught one of them on somebody's front doorstep at 4 in the morning. I imagine only for work early, sun's not even up, open your front door, and surprise that thing's on your welcome mat. Literally what happened. So I was able to safely capture and rescue that gator. Now again, I say the word rescue because if a different trapper shows up, they simply shoot the poor alligator. And the reason behind that is as a nuisance gator trapper is we don't get paid money to catch gator, the gator itself is the payment. The only way a trapper makes money is by killing him and then selling the meat in the hive. Which means that me and the group that saves them are the only ones dumb enough to work for free. <laughs> Uh, no, really, because we save them and don't kill them, that means we don't make any money doing it, so we do volunteer our time to rescue them and bring back to sanctuaries instead of killing them for a profit like the other guys do. So our group has actually rescued over 500 deuces skaters the last several years. We bring here first, they stay here temporarily, and then we send them out to one of the other parks and sanctuaries that we work with. But the state does not allow their relocation back out in the wild due to their homing ability. And what that means, even if you took him 100 miles away and dropped him off, give him a few months, and go back to the same backyard he was caught from. They read the Earth's magnetic field to find their way. That's why they're recognized as such amazing navigators. <laughs> Navigator. Don't even call me now, if you want to learn more about the rescue, what we do, and how we save them, check out the TV show. He's the film here called Gator Boys on Animal Planet. I'm one of the guys who's on the TV show. Hey, one person saw it. <laughs> now, gator wrestling is not like real wrestling. I do not hurt headlock or body sign the poor alligator. I handle him as gently as I can while not letting him remove any body parts. So gator wrestling comes from techniques used by the native tribes of Florida, and one of their famous maneuvers is holding the jaws shut between your chin and your chest, allowing your hands to be free to take out a rope and then tie the jaws shut. Which sounds like a horrible, dangerous idea, because it is, so let's demonstrate. I'm going to hold the jaws underneath my chin, and it makes a cool looking photo when I give you a thumbs up out to the side, if it does go horribly wrong, switch your camera from photo to video. So nice and carefully. Oh. Alright, thank you so much for the mild enthusiasm of four people. Thank you for the pity clap after the fact, too. I'm definitely not going to cry myself to sleep tonight. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Now, here's the biggest question we get all day, though. Why are they all attacking me? Why aren't they more aggressive? How am I still alive? And why do y'all look so disappointed I'm still alive? <laughs> now, most people are probably thinking you must have just fed them. That must be why. And if you think that's how it works, you'd be the first one that's eaten by an alligator. Oh, my God. That's real? Look at the speed. Oh my god, guys, look, he's coming to attack. Oh, he got tired. Never mind. 
So anyways, what I was saying is most people imagine that we feed them beforehand and make them nice and make them like you. That is not reality. Feeding them is by far the single most dangerous part of the job. Feeding them does not make them calm and happy. It creates a feeding frenzy. When I feed them, it's the last thing I do of the day. Then I go home. I'll come back in here. They're all going crazy. Now, if you're sitting there like, yeah, but I feed my dog and he loves me, why wouldn't they be the same? Does that look like your dog? <laughs> he does not think or act like a dog does. He does not see you as a friend or provider because he sees you as a walking hunk of meat. You brought more meat to feed him, that's called a BOGO. Buy one, get one free. <laughs> now, then people ask, yeah, but if you just keep them well fed, they won't bite you're not hungry. That's the trick. You keep them full, right? No, it doesn't matter. I've literally watched an alligator sit in a pile of meat and eat and overeat so he cannot help but throw it up and then just eat the throw up back up. Beautiful smoke right there, by the way. So, no, you cannot feed them beforehand and make them nice. And if you don't believe me, just look it up on the internet. You'll see videos of a big overweight gator does not need more food. Guy goes to feed it, rips his hand right off, and swallows his hand in front of his face. They will, you guys look surprised by this. Okay, this is an alligator, not a Labrador. Okay. He will immediately bite the hand that feeds with no hesitation. There are plenty of videos online of crazy people that raise one from a baby and they love it so much and they've had it 20 years and they've never, one day he goes to feed it, rips off his hand and swallows it in front of his face. He doesn't care. He's an alligator, not a Labrador. Okay? Now they also know that if any of them, this is more important, if any of them try to mess with me, I'm going to make that guy do the show instead. <laughs> Get where I'm going there. My work day is 10 to 15 of these shows a day, and I do work with every alligator in here, and they know I'm the guy that does the show. That's why I'm walking around, I'm next to them, they kind of keep their heads down. They're like, don't pick me, bro. <laughs> now, that does not make them tame or trustworthy. That means that they learn to respect you, and they respect you this much. The moment you trip and fall, you're back on the menu. Your hand slips, will take it off, and at least once a day, and I'm walking around in there, one of them will creep up and try to bite me in the back of the leg. If I'm not quick paying attention, he'd rip my leg off, eat it in front of me, and you don't feel bad about it, because again, he's an alligator, not a Labrador. And I see a lot of people look very confused, like, you mean if you love them, they won't love you back? <laughs> Y'all see way too much Disney. <laughs> he is not my friend, he is not my pet. I love him, he does not love me, and yes, they all bite. In fact, this guy did bite my old boss before. That's why he's my favorite. <laughs> Now, right behind the eyes are the ears. Now, they can seal off their ears, their nostrils, and the back of their throat. Although they live in the water, they don't breathe underwater, but they do hold their breath in amazing six hours at a time. Now, I've got one more trick, guys. Before I do it, I want to tell you about myself, so you don't think I'm just some crazy redneck on how this looks. Actually, I have a bachelor's degree in environmental studies from FIU. My name is an educated redneck. Thank you. And I know I actually have a degree. I have multiple academic publications in the world in invasive species biology, and I'm really proud and happy to do my part in research and help save the Everglades. And it made me a whopping zero dollars and hundreds of thousands of dollars in student debt. Yay! Yes. So that's why I risk life and limb for the entertainment of complete strangers in my other job to pay off student loans. Hi, guys. <laughs> now, if they catch with this kind of job, it is obviously very dangerous. And due to the danger factor, I'm technically not an employee of the park. That way, I'm not on their insurance. That way, if you didn't rip up my hand, nobody's actually responsible, and I just get a get well soon card. <laughs> but, like, for real, it's literally the healthcare plan here. Due to liability, I am not an employee of the park, but an unpaid volunteer doing the show for free, so if he does rip off my hand, the park's really not responsible. So if you do enjoy the show, have fun, learn about gators, and like the fact that we're a rescue that save these guys, I greatly appreciate thinking about my little tip jar slash hand replacement fund at the end. That's why I get paid, and it does help us run our rescue. And the last thing I want to say is don't try this on your own. I make it look easy. I'm really comfortable here. Not because it's safe, but because I've handled gators since I was 10 years old, and I'm what they call desensitized and mentally unstable. <laughs> don't try it on your own. Now, I feel lucky I've never had a bad accident. I have had friends that did. I had one friend get bit in the hand during a show, gator death roll. It did snap his arm in half. Now, he kept his hand. It was just facing the wrong direction. I had another friend get bit in the upper arm like this. And this guy was big. He was 260 pounds of muscle. Big, muscular guy. Grabbed him and flipped him right off the back. Ripped his bicep muscle right off the bone and ate it. And he lost that chunk of his arm. Now, I don't say that to be dramatic. I'm not trying to scare anybody. I don't want to be afraid of them. But those are real stories of friends of mine that used to do this show. And I say it because I'm trying to make my show fun with bad jokes. I want you guys to laugh, have a fun time. But don't let the jokes make you forget you can also rip off your arm. Never try this or approach them. Now, as you can see, they're not aggressive. They're not out to get you. They're not going to chase you down. They're a bunch of lazy bones. But if you feed them, swim in their habitat, or try to handle one, that's how people get killed. But if you leave them alone, they'll leave you alone. Now, let's do our last trick and do the opposite of that advice. Our last trick is what we call the face-off, because if I mess it up, my face comes off. 
<laughs> you gotta have a morbid sense of humor right here. So I'm gonna open up his jaws and I'm gonna set my chin on the edge of the open jaw, balancing the jaws up with my chin. If anything touches inside of his mouth, boom, jaw slam shut right on your face. So you're probably thinking like, well, what's the trick? How do you make it safe? The trick is, it's not safe. If you mess up, you get nailed. Well, this one's gonna walk again. Oh my God, he's coming right for me. Oh no, death is imminent. I have learned that no matter what I do here, no one will pay attention if one starts walking. I can literally be getting my arm ripped off and people are like, oh look, it's walking. Yeah, I've done this a long time. I, I know how this works, okay, so. All right, hey, lay down. Down. You guys underestimate me, that's all I'm saying. All right, so let's go ahead and try this last trick here. Let's open up the jaws. Right, big guy. Oh, no biting. No bites. Be nice. Hold on. Hey, give me a little face with your guys. Hold on a second. Now, look, if you're a good boy, at the end of the show, I'm going to get you a nice chihuahua, okay? Now, uh, as it gets a little bit more dangerous, I look up to you guys for some human compassion and all I see are phones. Yeah, it's going to die. <laughs> Now, I do say this about the phone, take your photo, video, it's fine, but hold your phone like this and watch the show with your eyes. Be present, all you phone zombie people. You're at a live show. Make sure you watch the show, because I'm going to risk my life for you, not your six followers on TikTok. <laughs> and if you didn't laugh, it's because you have six followers. <laughs> now, uh, whoop, he's going to try to bite again. Yep, there we go. Hold on, hold on. Hey, come on now. Sit, stay, down boy. Doesn't work. He's gonna get him, get a little feisty. Yeehaw. Yeah, he might get a little crazy here, guys. Easy killer. Okay. There we go. Now, most of the show is a lot of bad jokes. I do want you guys to laugh and have fun. But uh, seriously, it's a live show. It's the real deal. It's a real meter. And if I mess up, I lose my head. So uh, before I do it, I want some motivation. You guys enjoy the show? Yeah! All right. So here we go very carefully. Out right this way, and then right back here, guys. Exit right this way, maybe get your photos back here. 